Now, when it comes to revising for any exams or assessments you might have at GCSE, sometimes it's a little bit daunting and it's very difficult to know where to begin. So what I have is this thing here, which is a notebook that you can fill in. And what I've done is I've structured it to help guide you through the process. So this one over here is for GCSE Physics and obviously IGCSE Physics as well. And that's suitable for if you're doing the double award, sometimes called Trilogy, um, or if you're doing the separate award, sometimes known as Triple Science or Physics, whatever. Basically, Basically, anything that you've got to do with physics in any GCSE exams, this is going to be suitable for that. And it works with any exam board, higher and foundation as well. Now, um, I suppose what I've got here is uh, ways for you to kind of sort of put down some important information, um, information about your exams. And actually, when you buy the guide, um, I've filled in some of the pages to kind of show you how to use it. Um, as we go into things like definitions, um, I've just written one down here to maybe get you started. But what you can then do is use this space here to write down any other keywords, important phrases and so on that you need to remember. And the other thing about this is that each kind of section is backed up with this QR code here. And if you get your phone or an iPad or a tablet and you scan that, there's then an extra video where I explain how to use this section in a little bit more detail. Um, there's sections inside it for equations that you might want to put down, for the math, for physics. Um, something which I think is quite important, especially at GCSE, is practical work. Now, hopefully you've had a chance to actually do the practical yourself. But again, I've got this, um, and actually I've got many, many pages where all of the practical experiments that you've seen, you've maybe seen demos, seen videos of, or you've done yourself, you can add your brief notes for this. I've put in... Um, information about stretching a spring, so Hooke's Law, probably something that you will have done beforehand. And included in this, I've also got things like the hazards and safety measures. Often, they're the things that maybe get you an extra couple of marks in any exam questions that might come up. But where I think this is really useful, in addition to having things like diagrams, is for you to actually put the work in yourself. Now, yes, you can get revision guides that kind of give you loads of information, but in order to really understand the topic, and actually get the higher marks because you've actually learned all the material, you need to make your own summary notes. And I've got spaces here towards the back where you can think about each topic um, that might come up in GCSE physics, and you can add your own notes around it so that you understand it. And again, I've got an example in the notebook, but really this is how you can revise. It's not a case of reading revision guides, it's not a case of just watching some of my videos, it's actually about you going through the process of trying to get all of that information into an easily understandable form that you can then use for your own revision. So this is my GCSC exam revision notebook. I also have one for A-level uh, physics as well. This one's a little bit bigger, um, but you can buy both of these over at Amazon. I've got links beneath the video where you can go directly to buy these. You can also find them linked uh, from my GCSE or indeed A-level physics website as well. So this thing over here, um, you can buy it, you can start filling it in maybe from the start of year nine or maybe as you're revising towards the end of year 11. Um, but it's just a great handy way to make sure that all of the key important bits of information that you've learned about in the course are all contained in one place rather than just having kind of random folders, bits of paper all over the place. So this is my set of exam revision notes for GCSE and IGCSE physics. Thank you.